right, so here's the deal. I want you to see this TikTok. Now, I want you to watch as I show this. Don't show it yet. But I want you to watch the range of emotions, and I want you to really look for the change in this young lady's physiological makeup as she reveals that she resigned from teaching. Not being a garbage truck driver. Teaching. Play it. This entire school year, I have just been miserable. I have been so unhappy. It's unfair to me and it's unfair to the students in my class. I don't want to go into school. This is awful. I don't know how it's going to get any better. I had to make a really challenging decision, but I know it's for the best. I'm going to resign today. Oh my God. Look at that. I'm look, look at so this. nervous. It's unbelievable. I did it. Life's too short to be stuck. Now that's sad. As happy as she is at the end of that, that's sad. She's in her classroom beaming with joy. Beaming with joy because she's getting out. Now listen, if, if, if teaching's not in your sweet spot, that's why I do what I do. I'll help you get out. And no shame in your game. But and I'm not, I don't know her story. But this is sad, whether it's in her sweet spot or not. I, you, I would rather her go, hey, you know what? I did teach you for a while. It wasn't for me. And so I'm moving on to something else. Really excited about chasing my dream. That That's a TikTok that I'm going, bravo. I didn't see that. What I saw was somebody who's straight up miserable. And I saw her overwhelmed. And then I saw her light as a feather. Because she's leaving the grind of being a teacher? What is wrong with this picture? Now, some of you go, Ken, it's never going to change. I disagree. I disagree. We can do something about it. We must do something about it. Now, let me tell you something. We're talking about this. We're going to be covering this on the show. Let me tell you what. Let me tell you, if we, the people, don't do something about it, public education is going to change at the higher ed level, dramatically. I don't know how long K through 12 will stay in this kind of current rut. But private institutions like Google, Ramsey Solutions, folks, we had a great response to our project management course that I'm teaching with our CTO, Chief Technology Officer, Brendan Wojko. We're training people to get project management jobs. They don't need a degree for this. Let me tell you something. Uh, Google just announced... Uh, we'll report on this more in detail in a coming show. Over a $100 million project where they're going to be training people straight out of high school or adults who don't even need to darken the door of a college. <laughs> I'm telling you, the private sector is not evil, but they're just going, uh, this is broken. Let's just train people for what we need. We can't rely on something, something state. That's all they're doing. That's By the way, that's all business ever does. They solve problems. And so they go, all right, we can bang our heads against the wall, but they're not going to do that. So what do we do? We either sit on our hands or we continue to fight other ways. And Ramsey Solutions is going to be there. We're going to be there for you. Parents, I'm working on stuff right now. If you need help, hey, kid, how do I help my kid survive and thrive in the public school matrix so that they can come out of school with a very clear direction? Well, we've got from paycheck to purpose. We've got the assessment that you can take as a parent, the Get Clear Career Assessment at KenColeman.com. You can take it and begin to understand the language and understand the path and begin to help your kids see it. That's a starter. Ramsey Academy, we're just getting ramped up. But you can also join me in this and say, Ken's right. Amen. I'm going to share today's show. I'm going to share his social media post. And we're going to let Ken take the arrows. And we'll just stand behind him and clap. That's fine. I don't mind. we got to do something. Because here's, now watch. When I see data 
that has been consistent for the last eight years that the disengagement rate in American employees, this is disengaged. That means they're showing up to work, but they're not actively engaged. It's been at 68 to 70% for the last eight years. And we wonder why the great resignation, which is hurtling towards 20 million people, have changed jobs in the last six months. It's because they're looking, they're wandering, and they're going, I'm not engaged, and life is too freaking short to be miserable or bored or overlooked or overworked. I'm not gonna do it anymore and so they said i'm out i'm tired of being treated like i'm just a commodity that's why people are leaving and sadly they have left for a better paycheck that feels really good at first and then that wears off and they realize they're still miserable they're still bored they're still overworked they're still overlooked And all of this comes from our education system where we teach people just to answer questions. We pound curiosity out of them. We rob them of their wonder. And then we wonder, why are so many people disengaged? That's why. They forgot who they are or they never knew who they were. 